Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. All of Ridley Turtles. From this session onwards, in every environment based current affairs session, we will be focusing on a particular species in each session. Okay. And for today's session, we have all of Ridley's. All of Ridley's will be in news very often. That is because of a particular area in our country that is Odisha, which is a breeding site, an important breeding site and also a largest breeding site all over the world. Okay. For what? For this olive ridley turtles. So what are these olive ridley turtles? They are smallest and most abundant of all sea turtles. So smallest important and also most abundant of all sea turtles. All these points are important found in the world. Next is these turtles are carnivores. Yes, again important. Their feeding habit is important and they get their name from olive colored carapace. What is carapace? Their shell is called as carapace. Next is, they are best known for their unique mass nesting called as aribada. This, this term is very important. So, mass nesting of olive ridley turtles are called as, is called as aribada. Okay, where thousands of females come together on a same beach to lay eggs. Okay, aribada. Let us witness aribada. So, this is how it will be. Okay. Mass nesting, thousands of turtles will come to the beach to for nesting purposes. That is, they will they lay their eggs in the soil, beach soil, beach sand. Okay. Next, what is its habitat? Where all we can find olive ridley turtles? They are found in warm waters of Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Ocean. Points like these are very important. Okay. Next is in India, particularly Orishas, sorry. Odisha's Gahir Mata Marine Sanctuary. It is world's largest rookery. What is a rookery? A colony of breeding animal is called as a rookery. Okay. So it is world's largest rookery of sea turtle. Where do we have Gahir Mata? This is Odisha and in this, this location. This location is Gahir Mata Beach. Okay. Wildlife Sanctuary there, that particular location. Is a marine sanctuary where we find the largest breeding site of olive ridleys. Next, there are also other nesting sites for olive ridleys other than Gahir Mata, that is Rushikulia Rukri Coast, mouth of the river Damra, and also mouth of the river Devi. Okay, we have Damra River, we have Rushikulia River, and then Devi River. The mouths of all these rivers are nesting sites. Okay, all these rivers are in Odisha only. Next, what is its protection status? Under Wildlife Protection Act, it is under Schedule 1. Next, in IUCN Red List, it is categorized as vulnerable. And then in sites, they are under Appendix 1. All these points are very important. Protection status based questions have also been asked in the past. Next is, initiatives to protect olive ridley turtles. Sorry. Initiatives to protect olive ridley turtles. What are the initiatives that we have taken? First thing is Operation Olivia. This Olivia is denoting olive ridley. Okay. So every year, Indian Coast Guard, who is doing this operation? Indian Coast Guard is doing this operation. It is called Operation Olivia. Why have they initiated this operation? To protect olive ridley turtle as they congregate. That is, they come together along the Odisha's coast for breeding and nesting in the month of November and December. So, when do they come? That is also important. They come in the months of November and December. And this initiative was started in early 18, sorry, 1980s. Next is tagging of olive ridley turtles. What is tagging? That is like giving an identity card to olive ridley turtles. So, tagging of endangered olive ridley turtles using non-corrosive metals. They will be given tax, okay, metal tax. So, that they can chart their movements and know the areas they visit to protect species and their habitats, okay. Where all they visit, we can identify using those tags, okay. They will we'll be getting electronic signals from that. Next is turtle excluder device. What is this tur turtle excluder device? We will be using 
trolls right to catch fish will be using trolls like this in that there are chances that turtles may also get caught in that that must not be the case okay they should not die in this process of getting caught inside this trolls so what they have is they have something called as turtle excluder device which is there will be an exit option in this trawl itself okay there is a trawl and in this there will be an exit option and using this exit option this turtle will come outside okay they can escape that is called as turtle excluder device and this has been mandated by odisha government okay so to reduce accidental killing in india odisha government has made it mandatory for trawls to use turtle excluder device okay a net specially designed with an exit that is called as this device ted device the next point is threats faced by olive ridley turtles what are the threats that olive ridley turtle face first is human activities obviously we go for coastal development but coastal areas are the areas where they come for nesting other than that fishing is a main problem and then pollution water pollution is again a problem for olive ridley turtles next is there are predators natural predators are also there like dogs hyenas and other birds which eat egg and hatchlings of olive ridley next is climate change obviously it is a problem because there is rising temperatures and sea levels which impacts the nesting process okay next is light pollution they are very sensitive to lights also okay if there is artificial lights nearby then they tend to approach those areas so that they will not return back to the sea again in, thus in this process they may get like they may get uh, uh, attacked by dogs hyenas and other birds okay so light pollution is also a problem here the last point is there is a particular award called Baylor Turtle Conservation Award, which was established in the year 2006, and it is a major annual international award which honors excellence in the field of tortoise and freshwater turtle conservation. And this award is considered as Nobel Prize of Turtle Conservation. And who is awarding this and who, who is presenting this annually? It is presented annually, that is also important. There are certain awards which are presented by annually or even biennially okay you must know the difference next who is presenting it turtle survival alliance iucn tortoise freshwater turtle specialist group turtle conservancy and turtle conservation fund all of these bodies or agencies together are giving this particular award which is considered as nobel prize for turtle conservations okay so with this we have come to end of today